Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So it's a brand new event and of course with that, um, we are going to do a few more stages as usual. But before we go through the stages itself, uh, I kind of missed out on all the notifications that have been popping out through the game. Especially since they came out in April. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so let's go through this very quickly. So apparently, um, things are not looking too good with coming on to the um, management of the game. So it seems like uh, as we continue to focus on the major update, an aspect of the game will temporarily be modified as outlined below. So they appreciate our understanding. So yeah, it seems like they're trying their best to make the game enjoyable for everyone. You know, despite its current um, repetitiveness and of course um, reissuing of certain Pokemon events so yeah so but in the past we were told that you know they'll be adding 30 orders every time um, two week passes usually that's a duration of uh, event itself but apparently now they're changing it to 15 orders at a single time so they're reducing the amount of stages being released which is great for me <laughs> at least for my youtube channel we can try and catch up with all the orders considering that we clear 10 orders every episode um so that's that's pretty okay um you know and you don't have to really um go all that crazy with this game you can play it at your own pace like any other puzzle games are out there you know just enjoy um, the challenges that each stage provides. So yeah, so and then the other thing here, I think um, today we're bringing you some new info about the major update we previously announced. First though, we'd like to apologize. So yeah. Um, so since the app was first released, we've had an extraordinary number of players log in and enjoy the game. Many of you have also sent in helpful feedback about puzzle difficulty, Pokemon staff activi uh, activities and other aspects of the game. That's why in addition to expanding on the game's content in this update, we decided to do a complete overhaul of the game system as well. Wow! So they are really doing their best to change the entire game. So yeah, previously when the game first started, people complained that the game was too tough. Um, so I guess people ended up using too many acorns um, just to re replenish, to retry the level. And they only got 3 tries. So I mean, it is still the same right now. Um, I've noticed that the stages have become a bit easier. Um, you don't really encounter too many stages where, you know, um, you can't clear without a single try. Uh, in the past, it was a thing where you come across stage after stage where you cannot clear without retrying um, using the Acorn refresh. So my videos itself are examples of that. So, uh, however, because of the volume of changes is greater than we initially anticipated, our projected release date is now fall of 2021. At least, at least the implementations of the whole brand new Pokemon Cafe mix that they are planning for is within 2021. So that's a good sign. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead with all that information and head into the current uh, reissue event for Sabu. So our little blue friend is still crying. Even after we've been stuffing his face with wonderful delicious food. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What can we serve up for him this time round as we try to satisfy his sorrowful heart. Alright, so let's pick up the rewards from the Chen C event. Hopefully you guys did pretty well. Um, if you guys have not gotten Chansey, hopefully you, you manage to get Chansey with a team of active players. Um, only a handful of us that are still playing, I guess. So let's start things off as usual with the invite. Uh, I'm gonna refresh here. Oh, yeah. Let's add stars to Piplop. Definitely want my baby penguin to join the crew. Okay. Let's see how this level goes. 
Okay, so this level isn't that problematic since there are baskets in two locations, so that's that's a good thing. Alright, so let's try to get the bailiffs into the baskets. Because at the same time we want to get Pikachu's skill. Go. Okay, let's push the basils in. Okay, so I don't want to destroy the pumpkins just yet because the basil is in a position that is kind of risky. Um, I don't want it to drop into that deep hole. Oh god. Oh no. One of them went in. <laughs> okay, so... Oh no. Alright, so let's try and avoid having the basils drop in. Oh no. Just when I'm saying I don't want it to happen, it happens. It's just horrible. Okay, let's try and get it in. This is just terrible. There's just too many icons on the screen. Come on, get in there. There we go. Whew! Thank goodness I didn't have to retry this level. It's not a difficult level, it's just it can get a bit annoying when things don't go your way. I mean, that's puzzle games for you. Go on to the two star stage. Of course, as usual, let's try not to retry because um, the only way you can actually gain all the stars from this level is just clearing it in one go because you know they don't let you use the stars to retry. So it's gonna cost you quite a bit if you want the full enjoyment of the stars. So it is not a difficult level. Um, just gotta pay attention to the olives, uh, the caramels, and of course, the vegetable count. Okay, so we've got the score covered and I think yeah, I just need to clear the veggies now. So there are eight boxes on each side. Just need to destroy one more round, and we're done. Simple as that. So, I mean, you definitely can end this level with a lot more moves remaining, especially if you've been um, hitting those veggie crates with your Pokemon icons. Alright, fantastic. Alright, let's move on to the 10 stages. Here we go. Serve things up for Audino. Oh boy. Okay. So the pumpkins are in a very weird position. Let's try and destroy all the oil on the mixing stuff. Uh, let's. Oh no, the canister is getting really misplaced. <laughs> Uh, I should have probably placed the Pikachu skill better. Oh well. Okay, can we can we destroy most of the things here? Can we bring everything over to one side? It's not looking good. Alright, so we really want to try and push everything to one corner. Um, the pumpkin is... stuck. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Okay, we are in a bit of a mix. No pun intended, considering the game's name. Oh boy. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna end up trying again. 
this is such a problematic level. Okay, I'm gonna retry this level. Hopefully this is the only time we have to do it. Mm. Alright, let's try to get things mixed up here. Uh, just staying within its own section. And let's not have them get tossed around too much. Go. Okay, bring over the milk canister. Okay, Pikachu icons. There we go. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna destroy everything here. We did destroy most of the stuff. Okay, we got all the mixing stuff settled, so that's a good thing. Okay, let's get rid of the pumpkins and the chestnuts. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna use this skill here. So we can use the megaphone on the other side to get rid of the three things that we need to destroy and we are good! So a bit of a tricky level but not impossible to clear with one single play. Alright, what's up next? The Charmander? Okay, so this one, we really need to try and clear as much space as possible. Um, yeah, we need more room for icons, so let's pay attention to that. There we go. We also have to pay attention to the whipped creams, because they're going to take up space, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm going to power up Lucario's skill right here. Get rid of the pickle jars, tomato bottles, and of course, um, the whipped creams. Okay, let's get rid of the last two pickle jars. I'm gonna get another Lucario skill so we can power it up. There we go, all the whipped creams are out, so that's a fantastic thing for us. Let's destroy the majority of the things here. Fantastic, things are looking very good. Um, so yeah, as long as you plan things out, I think you should be fine. Yeah, and with that, we should be done with everything. Fantastic. So not too problematic of a level, just plan things out and you should be fine. Okay, who's next? Let's see. Alright, so we still haven't seen Sobo in the queue yet. If only they would appear more often. Oh well. Hmm. So yeah, we need Blossoms, so let's try to get a Blossom skill. Okay. Let's try to set free all the popcorn kernels first. Oh man, the megaphones really are too dependent on RNG. Okay, let's get the Munchlax. We probably might want to focus on the popcorn kernels now because um, they are technically just one more move from destruction, so let's go ahead and destroy a majority of them first. And let's do that again with the remaining few. Okay, so let's get the popcorn kernels here. Oh, we got lucky this time. It's nice. Okay, so can we push this popcorn kernel to the same location as the other two? 
so that we can just do this. Yeah, let's destroy all three at one go. Well, the only problem is the basal leaves. Okay, let's power up the skill. Um, hopefully the megaphones that are summoned will help clear the way to the basket. Alright, so technically, yes, it did. <laughs> oh, lucky us. Alright, so, yeah, like you see, um, it's not a difficult level. It can be a bit tricky. And of course, it does rely a bit of luck because of the RNG for the megaphones. Alright. Seems like Meowth is very close to reaching max level. Okay, so let's get the skill going because we really want to rely on the skill to destroy the mayonnaise bubbles. Let's do this. Destroy all of them at one go. Okay, now the only problem is not having the rest of the mayonnaise bubbles move around too much. Like the one you can see at the bottom has <laughs> like roaming around freely. That's a problem. Okay, let's use the skill. Oh no, I didn't want to power it up. Okay. So we've got honey problems right now. Let's get rid of the honey. Okay, we've got the skill. Let's make use of it to destroy the... Oh, did I? Oh, I missed out on the can. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, let's use the megaphone. Okay, we're gonna end up using all the moves. So that's kind of a bummer. There we go. Let's... Get all three items highlighted. Ah, oh well. We could have ended with an extra move. But oh well. Things just were slightly out of reach. <laughs> Four more stars to go, Meow. Oh. Friendship bonus. Good for the Pokemon. Sadly to say it's not a raid event, so that's kind of a bummer. Hey, Sobo's in line! Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we've got a few bubbles that need to be burst. Um, we probably should get rid of this sticky situation first. There we go. Oh, I missed out one. Okay. Alright, so now let's get rid of the situation we have in this corner. Go. Can we push this up? Yeah. So we can get things destroyed together. Okay, we really need eggs, so let's just go in. Um, I would say we will need to power up the skill. So let's do that. Seems to be a lot of Lucario's. Okay, Pikachu's. Alright, so it's just mainly the strawberries now. Hmm, we have a problem here. So, okay, we're gonna go with the Pokemon icon way because I don't think. Can we? I think we can. Alright, let's rely on the double activation of the skill to get rid of the strawberries. Yeah, it seems like we might be able. Can we clear this? Oh god, oh god, I like both of them. Whew! <laughs> that was a really close one. We were really in a pinch. So luckily enough, um, we had a good lineup of the skills together so we can fully destroy that strawberry box. Oh god, that was really nerve-wracking right there. But you know, thank goodness. Hmm. Seems pretty straightforward, so we just have to really rely on Stoutland's um, skill 
because he destroys things downwards. Oh dear lord, we should have probably focused a bit on the um, the vegetable crates. Okay. There we go. We should probably power this up. Can we... Yeah, there we go. We just destroy one side. Okay, so we can get the items pushed across. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Um, I guess let's go with the pip blocks. Alright, so we just need to cover all new vegetable crates. Stoutmans now, because there are a lot of them. Okay. Let's power up this and let's hit all of them veggie crates. Okay, so we just need a whole bunch of icons to go around the veggie crates and we are good. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't enough! I guess I wasn't really fully covering everything. Okay, so yeah, we could have ended one move earlier, but you know. At least we didn't too, do too badly, huh? Oh, we're getting a gift from Eevee. And here we have our... Sad little boy, who doesn't seem that sad actually. Alright, Sabo is here. Hope our yummy offerings turn this Pokemon into a fan of our game. I mean, he has returned for the second time. I'm sure he's definitely a fan of the cafe. You know, I am a fan of my own cafe, after all. The food looks delicious. Oh wow, Sobo is actually going to level up with this stage clear. Cool. Hmm. This looks like a problem. Okay, so let's get rid of all the Minchinos first. Popcorn kernels are definitely an issue, so let's aim to clear them. Okay, let's clear all this stuff now. Alright, fantastic. So let's move icons out of the way because we want that skill to come in. Okay, clearing of the chestnuts. Fantastic. So, I hope that's all the destructible items here. Oh no. That one single bottle is stopping me from clearing the entire thing. Oh, could have ended so much earlier. Oh well. Just bad placement. That's okay. We go! Sabo is now level 2! Fantastic. Alright, so it'll be a while before we see him in line again. He has to finish his food before he asks for more. You know, there are a lot of hungry people out there in the world. Do not waste food, people. Alright, so let's get the Starlies going. Um, definitely try to get some whipped creams out as well. Um, and of course, you know, we need we need that space for icons, so let's destroy the cans in the middle. Oh man, RNG for the megaphones are horrible as usual. Okay, there's a lot of whipped creams out now. It's taking a lot of space, so let's just be careful with that. Okay. Once more, let's get rid of the cans. Hopefully the megaphones do help us out. Okay, we do get rid of one with cream, so technically that's better than nothing. Okay, let's get rid of the tiny whipped creams. Let's destroy that megaphone. There we go. Ooh. That was a pretty good clear. Tiny one. Getting rid of the tiny megaphones first. 
Alright, that's all the destructibles gone. Yep, that's it. That wasn't too bad. Let's make sure you clear the way for new Pokemon icons, and we should be good. Hmm, but awesome. Oh boy. Do I want to set free those marshmallows? Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky. I, do I want to set them free? Feels like I shouldn't. Okay. Let's defrost the pumpkins first. Um, yeah, it feels like I shouldn't. Okay, so let's gather as many icons as possible to destroy the marshmallows. And handle the pumpkin now. It's just an alternate pattern, um, you know, destroying marshmallows and of course destroying pumpkins. There we go. It's kind of a bummer that we got no skill to use right now. Okay, let's go ahead and destroy the marshmallows first before we go ahead and destroy the pumpkins. Okay, so with this we should have things rolling in. I mean, the tomatoes, hopefully. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're still short of score. Oh, dang. We'll be done. It's kind of unfortunate. So we ended up using every single move, but I'm sure this stage will definitely allow um, a few moves remaining, especially if you are planning to earn acorns. But still, not, not a too difficult level. Just got to know when to do the exact thing at that exact moment. Is this the last level with friendship bonus? Oh my goodness, it is! Wow! So Bubble Star is really getting boosted. Oh, Sobo is back in line. Um, with stars. Not that he needs it, but you know. Okay. He's gonna get 9 stars for Bubble Star, and then he's gonna give us a gift. Nice! Okay. Oh boy. This does not look good. Okay, so the main thing here is I think we need to destroy the Olives first. Because we don't want the jars to get coated in olive oil. I mean, the basil leaves there are a problem already. So let's go ahead and just get rid of the Olives first. Okay. One more time. Gotta get that olive uncoated. That's a problem. Hmm. Kind of in a pinch. There we go. Okay. Let's get rid of the last olive and let's uncoat um, the basil. Oh no, why did I touch the spittle icon? That's a problem. Here we go. They're gonna light up. Is one skill enough? And oh! Apparently it was, but I shifted. Oh, that's such a bummer. Okay, there is a basket at the bottom though, so let's make use of that body. Okay, so we have a problem. So as you can see, I messed up the timing. Uh, so that's an issue. Can we now? We need we need to try and get the basal moving. Oh god, that's not good. Okay, there is the basal. Oh no, we messed it up. We messed it up so bad. Oh god. So yeah. Uh, Okay, we're gonna go with the 900 because it is a level with 9 stars. <sighs> this is unfortunate. 
and I just use the skills. I mean, let's do this. There we go. Oh my god. Icons is the safer way instead of a skill. I can't be sure if Squirtle's skill will reach both Pickle Jars. I don't want to take a risk. Look at that, all the stars. Oh, it's just worth that 900 Acorns. Totally worth it. Okay, so in scenarios like this, you know, 900 acorns would definitely be a lot more beneficial. Oh, we're getting something installed. Ooh, parchment paper. Are we gonna do baking now? Oh. Okay. So, we got, you know, um, brand new item added to the cafe means a new Pokemon will be appearing. Oh wow! Okay, things are slowly progressing a lot better. We are technically kind of um, still very far back in terms of stages cleared. On my Nintendo Switch account, I have like 900 plus stages, um, but I'm still not fully cleared all the uh, orders that are currently available in the game because I have been slacking off on my Nintendo Switch um, But you know, we'll slowly get there um, While things are still being fixed for Pokemon Cafe Mix in terms of the um, You know developers trying to reconstruct the game to make things a bit more appealing for everyone of all ages So hopefully things are going to end up better um, in, the f in the near future and hopefully you guys are still playing the game. I know there are a few of you who are still watching my videos. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying Pokemon Cafe Mix just like I am. I love the Pokemon franchise. The Pokemon are just adorable. And of course, the cafe makes things even more adorable and a lot more relaxing and enjoyable. You know, make, making yourself hungry through the game is just, I guess, a good way build up appetite <laughs> the actual day itself anyway guys thank you guys for joining me on another episode of pokemon cafe mix uh, hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one soon well maybe two weeks later <laughs> until then bye